Austin Matthews suspended for two games for his cross check on Rasmus Dalian. I just want to go into it, guys. So I want to talk about my perspective on the play, uh, what I saw, and then basically just talk about the suspension. So I think for the scenario in what we've talked about with NHL referees, we've been talking about NHL officiating, we've been talking about uh, the inconsistencies. And actually, if you've been following the Leafs lately, the last few games, there's been questionable conversations. There's been questionable uh, missed calls, right? Even I was talking about last night, the missed call on the hooking from Ovechkin on Hyman all the way up the ice. And then, of course, with one second left, the Capitals tie it. Uh, the missed calls in the overtime, the Leafs-Arizona game. This one, I think for me, two games is is whatever. I, I'm not going to get super pissed off. I, I think for me, it just kind of speaks to the joke overall of the NHL officiating, not necessarily the Department of Player Safety here, because... And people are going to be surprised by me saying that. The Department of Player Safety has been a joke for a while. The NHL officiating the inconsistencies and not, I would say, taking action on some of these calls. So this was my argument. If for many times in the game, but many times recently, Austin Matthews is a player that doesn't get many calls. He actually doesn't. So Matthews, a star player, one of the best players in the league, is not getting these calls where he's getting cross-checked in the back of the, the back and he's getting... He's getting hooked up. He's getting held up. He's getting stick held. All these things are happening. And, and honestly, if people know me, I'm far from a Matthews defender. <laughs> I do like I love Matthews. He wears a Leaf jersey. I love Matthews, but I don't defend this guy the way some people do. I think, in the perspective of being a star player, you should be drawing a lot more calls. You have the puck. This guy gets harassed a lot, quite a bit, and, and doesn't get too many calls. So I think, in the perspective of Matthews getting frustrated lately, even after that Arizona game that missed call in overtime, he's getting frustrated with getting all these cross checks to the back, getting all of these things happen to him in the game, and just not getting calls. So I think, in the perspective of this, two games is whatever. And I think some Leaf fans or some people out there are going to argue that Matthews should have just got a fine. And I think there's going to be some people that you're watching this video right now, you are so biased that you can't even have an understanding of what's going on that you want Austin Matthews because. He's Austin Matthews and he's a Leaf. You want him suspended for like 10 games for a cross check. So two games is whatever. I, I don't have a problem with it too much. I think it's kind of a joke, just as I said, that it gets to that point. Like if the, the officials are actually calling things the way they should be, this isn't a conversation. When Rasmus Dalian's cross-checking Matthews in the back, that should be an arm up. If you're looking at the officials, the arm's not up. So Matthews, should he have cross-checked Dalian in the neck? No, like obviously not. That, that's... Anyone with common sense, use your eyes. Obviously, you should not be cross-checking a guy in the neck. So, suspended two games, whatever. But the conversation is, don't let it get to that point. When a guy is getting harassed and a guy consistently is not getting calls, he's probably going to get pissed off. And the conversation of calling Austin Matthews soft, I just don't think he can win with too many people. Because if Austin Matthews does nothing, if he gets ragdolled like he did in the playoffs or he gets taken advantage of in that sense... People are going to call him soft. But when he does stuff like that, they call him soft anyways. So what? You want an Austin Matthews star player to start a fight, to drop the gloves? So it's a conversation of the Leafs in general too. But it's also just, as I said, it goes back to the NHL officials and especially lately, not taking action on some of these calls and letting things get out of hand. You can go all the way back to the Leafs-Jets game earlier in the season. So I'm not too mad about the two games. It's whatever. He'll be out against Dallas. He'll be out, I guess, Thursday night as well. Whatever. But the problem is, as I've said, it's getting to that point and then lacking the consistency to keep it at that level. So Austin Matthews suspended two games. Give me your thoughts in the comments. You guys can go wherever, like in whatever direction you want in terms of your thoughts, in terms of what you think. But <laughs> some people say Matthews should be done for a while and there's other people that say Matthews should have got nothing. I mean, the two games is whatever. So I'll say that again for some people that just don't decide to listen when I, when I try to explain myself. Because at the same time, in the stream or whatever it is, I specifically say, if you look at how it started up and the league's talking about eliminating cross checks, well, if a guy gets cross checked in the back a couple times, probably not going to enjoy it. So again, I, I, I'm not okay. Like at the end of the day, Matthew shouldn't have crossed the guy in the neck. That's common sense. As I said, so give me your thoughts, subscribe, like comment. I'll be live coming up. I'll be live all day on NHL trade deadline day. I'm going to make a lot of videos and I hope you guys check them out. And as I said, just comment your thoughts on what you think.